Hello everyone, today's video is all about inheritance tax planning and pensions. So for years, um, if you died, your pension pot was subject to rather restrictive rates of inheritance tax, uh, often well in excess of the 40% main rate of inheritance tax. But since the so-called pensions freedom um, came in in 2015, which amongst other things included a choice in how you come to take your pension, you know, longer restricted to just having to uh, swap your pension pot for an annuity, but you can uh, now have what's called uh, income drawdown, flexible drawdown. So different um, ways that you can access your private pension when you get to the, um, the age to do so, which is currently 55. But one of the benefits less um, heralded by the press was the inheritance tax breaks that came in at that time. So now these onerous inheritance tax charges don't apply to pension pots when someone dies having a significant amount of um, cash or assets in the pension pot. So what happens, the rules are if you die before the age of 75, the pension pot that you have accumulated will be passed inheritance tax free to the beneficiaries whoever you nominate that to be, it could be kids or grandkids. Um, so they receive your pension pot tax-free. When they themselves then access that pension pot, uh, no tax either. So no income tax on taking out the monies that were in your pension pot that you passed down to them. Rules slightly different if you die um, aged over 75, if you are over 75, the actual pension pot still passes uh, down tax-free, but the um, beneficiaries will pay income tax at their marginal rate on any withdrawals that they make from the inherited pension pot. So inheritance tax uh, planning around pensions, really good for, for those who um, have a reasonable sized uh, estate, um, possibly you know you don't necessarily need to draw on their uh, personal, their private pension. So let's say uh, we're talking about a matriarch or a patriarch of a family business. They get to um, the age where they could access the pension pot, but they choose not to. Instead, they maintain um, their other income levels, such as dividends or salaries from the family business, and the pension pot all along is accumulating. Um, so as a IHT planning point, what they should do there's a couple of things this should do well what they, they should do is move more assets into the pension pot because what you essentially are doing then is moving assets from a potentially taxable estate for IHT into a non-taxable estate for IHT so if they can afford to do so move um, assets and investments from your taxable estate to your non-taxable estate so put it into uh, pensions. So if you put it into pensions, assuming you've got enough capacity to do so, remember, of course, the um, so-called lifetime allowance, where if you accumulate more than just over a million pounds, you get clobbered for tax on that. So it's all about getting the, the balance right. But if you essentially have, um, you know, a, a reasonable chunk in terms of capacity that you can put in, contribute into your pension pot, knowing full well that you're never going to access it and you're going to pass it on tax-free to the kids or the grandkids. And not only will it pass free of inheritance tax, but you'll get tax relief on the contributions to top it up. So if those contributions, say, come from the SME business that you are the, the, um, the owner of or one of the shareholders, one of the directors, you'll get corporation tax relief on those pension contributions going in to, to top up your pension pot. Again, subject to the annual allowance, so you need to look out for that. I've done a separate video on the annual allowance. But playing by the, um, the constraints that are available, annual allowance and lifetime allowance, you could significantly get more money into the pension, which will then be transferred down to the beneficiaries when you pass away. The second um, planning point on this is basically just to say, well, okay, if you... Um, look at all your assets, um, split them between what is currently in your pension and what's not. The strategy would be to um, spend out of your um, estate that would otherwise be subject to inheritance tax when you die and leave your pension pot 
uh, intact. So unlike the first one we were saying, keep adding to it, we're just saying on this one, just don't erode it. So it, it's, it, I mean, it is what it is. Um, you're not making any further contributions. Uh, the pot will continue to grow, hopefully, based on the stock market performance or the bonds or whatever you've got it invested in. Uh, but then just use your your day-to-day uh, expenditure out of your uh, taxable estate. So do have a think about pensions as a tax planning vehicle for inheritance tax. Inherently, we, we, we think about pensions as from a tax relief point of view for the contributions up front. So the contributions going in either from the company or the individual, tax relief on those contributions, the pot, the pension pot grows tax-free, and then you pay a bit of tax when you start to, to draw down the benefits um, at the back end. But if you never draw those benefits down uh, and you die with a substantial pension pot, that can be passed tax-free, inheritance tax-free to beneficiaries. So uh, it's a win-win situation and you've got tax relief on all those contributions to build it up. So that's just a quick overview on IHT planning um, surrounding pensions. If you like this video, please do subscribe here and I will see you soon.